Good evening, folks. This is Darth Ravage 07 coming to you tonight with the uh, new quick review uh, right here so far is my lineup so far. And uh, these guys I got last year. But I just uh, want to show, show these like to the T. Got the Vipers next. Found Firefly. Looking for the Viper. Or looking for Firefly. Found the Vipers. And then uh, Zartan came in online, and I finally got the Cobra Infantry Troopers. But the day was so magical as I just had a feeling this morning. Um, Saturday, I was going to a volleyball tournament out of town, and that target out of town didn't get it in. But then Asheville Store did get it in, and uh, was not supposed to be in until the 19th, and then it moved up to the 18th at the South Asheville store. So I went out there this morning on a hunch, gut feeling, and found none other than the awesome. Three, two, one, and major blood figure there. Uh, it's a target elusive exclusive. Uh, when you get a hold of the box in hand that has six of these bad boys in it, it says G.I. Joe Asteroid. So if you're looking at a pile of boxes at a Target and you're lucky enough to see G.I. Joe Asteroid and you're looking for blood, you've got blood on your hands. And uh, it was really a big thank you. I need to shout out to uh, Kimball at the South Asheville store for going above and beyond. It, uh, he always like helps out and uh, getting a hold of the figures or whatnot that are... Just out of, you know, reach, he, he'll look up your DPCI. Oh, it came in this morning. He'll do this and do that and whatnot. Uh, long story short, I listened to another guy who was looking for Star Wars stuff, and he was wanting several figures at once or whatever, and the, he was not talking to Kimball, but the actual store floor lead, and she was giving him a line that, oh, I can't, you know, do this until this afternoon, blah, 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 this and that and whatnot. And then there was a girl helping Kimball look for both the star wars and the bloods so then uh i'm hoping that he was getting ready to leave and i went and chased him down i said get back here you get your star wars figures i got my major blood let's get these and uh so i got my one major blood but i'm not sure if he was able to actually purchase them for what the store lead was saying well i gotta put them in here check them in there blah 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 uh it's in a store and they brought out the boxes from the back so uh I think that's excellent customer service on the part of Kimball and, and the lady that helped Kimball bring it out of the back for us to buy. All that said and done, and Target shenanigans uh, uh, just seems to be just right around every corner. He's worth it. He is 087-169916 and ring up $19.99. And the uh, other thing that you need to watch out for, saw an everyday Eric, uh, he his. When he got his, it was minus the dog tags. And just, just make sure, a quick look, if you get the whole of the box, get you the one with the dog tags. Because several have been found and not had the dog tags. All that said and done, let's crack him out, open out of his case. And uh, let's get through his uh, accessories and what have you. Thanks again to the whole 272 subscriber count down there. Uh, thank you so very, very much. And... Uh, Check out my links, and I will uh, try to get you a link for this guy here, too. Uh, maybe they'll, now that he's out in the stores, it'll be a little easier to get him tapped in there. Uh, I can only hope and pray. Uh, he comes six per box, like I said, and a lot of stores are getting in two boxes of Major Blood, so mine only got in six. Uh, it's Asheville South Store. All right, let's get this cracked open. Thank you again for watching. Real quick, I wanted to go over the box because I love this art on this corner here. He is number 27 in the crew. There's his stats if you're wanting to know. There's 27 again. There's a map of Cobra Island. And uh, like, can't wait to see where this is going in the future. And... Uh, Daggone, this is just a, I'm, I'm still a complete utter shock, like, having him in my hands tonight. So, uh, he comes with his hat, and it looks like a more pronounced Cobra 
hooded helmet. So there's that. Kind of reminds me of Vader 2. Like, without the face mask. Anyway. Major Bullet also comes with his backpack right here that will hold these two little rockets here. Friction them in. Unless I got that totally wrong. So you can friction them in and or you can use them with this gun here. And tab in right here and make it awesome. So there's options to be had there. Anything but Peacemaker gun is like my favorite. And I just more bang bang for the buck. Let's just see that right there. As we zoom in on Zig. Oh yeah. I like the silver there. And uh this looks like a major blood kind of weapon. All that said. Let's get back, get Major Blood all armored up, and uh, three, two, one, and before we go into getting him armored up, I just really want to quickly like zoom in on where uh, I think that detail on that face that is one of the best villain faces in the line thus far, and looks just spectacular a lot of the color and the little gray strip there in the hair and uh just wow look at that android arm and uh he's got crazy articulation he can look way up and look way down uh the I like the way get this out of here that you take him and you can like totally spin his arm around and that shoulder pops just enough. So there's his whole cyborg arm. It will bend up way far just like that. That's pretty tight. Uh, nice soft plastic there. Allowed to do the forged stomach crunch. And he's got two clicks backwards. Really nice joint there. He's got waist articulation. Uh, teacup. He's got the uh, butterfly shoulder, upper bicep. Same thing over here. Pistol uh, can you know be or well, you can do that. And then you have a couple of different ways there. The mine's bent way down. Oh, there it goes. And it's basically the Cover Trooper hand on that hand. Just a really flipping awesome package. I'll take these dog tags off a second. Let's look way up that far. And maybe some more. He's just down that far. And all the way around. I don't know why anybody would want to do that. But anyway. Um, down here he's got those little drop kick this side's hindered by the holster there he's got the knee all the way up there all the way back there and rockers on his feet love the paint detail on the boot that's really really awesome I like the way they took the cover trooper made it brown and give it to major blood so Props there, and just an all-around awesome guy to get your hands on to if you can land, get lucky and land him here, as he is just in this last week hitting stores hard and heavy. And now, whoops, stand you back up, buddy. And then let's now get major blood into some major business. Get him all armored up in three, two, one, and. And here is Major Blood, all decked out, uh, armored up. So you can spin around the box so you can see how that. Sh it's just like a, a no mask where they got mask on. 
He skipped mass day. Probably wears his scars. Love the way that the backpack can hold the missiles and the other pistol there. And he's got his not peacemaker there. His major blood gun. And uh, Dartek's looking all sh slick. And that face looking better than ever. Right, let's zoom in on it now that we've got it right here. And take another close look at that noggin. Just a work of art. Like I was telling other people, I just can't believe how hard I fell for these G.I. Joe classified figures. And I fell pretty hard. Uh, that's a... Uh, Get him in one more final pose with his weapon. And uh, get some final thoughts. Thanks again for watching. One moment. In closing thought, if you've already collected all these guys thus far, this guy right here is a no-brainer. I love how that helmet looks on him amongst the other crew there. And uh, I really do like this G.I. Joe classified line. It has not disappointed to date. And uh he's I thought at first whenever I saw it, it was just a variation of Zartan's chest armor, but it's a totally different armor. It's a slightly softer malleable where you can do the, the chest uh crunches if you need to, depending on how you want to pose it. I like to get some of those stands and, and get that. Can't wait to get my man cave layer here. And it's uh, shelves for the G.I. Joe classified set up. But these Cobras are going in as the Cobra shelf. And then the Joes will go on the Joe shelf. And I think it'll look way better than even the stuff we grew up with back in the 80s. I'm so grateful for Hasbro releasing this line. Wish they would get a little bit better about distribution. And that might be why they go with six a box with this guy. Because all these other guys here have been a royal pain. And a lot of people have quit collecting because of how hard it is to get a hold of these guys. But these are, they're absolutely worth it if you can just gut it out. I went with two, my, my, my thing was I went with two uh, elite troopers, two vipers, and two infantry. And I got them just lined up off his shoulders there. And uh, just try, when I go to get, if there's multiples there at store, I haven't grab multiples ever of this G.I. Joe Classifieds uh, just to ha help give somebody else another chance. I'm no Robin Hood like Trans Aaron is of G.I. Joe, just buying them and shipping them and stuff at cost, you know. But uh, I, I don't hog. And and like there was five other ones there at South Asheville for the other five people that are lucky to grab hold of it today. And with that, all that said and done, I mean, accentuate the positive so glad I fell into this uh, G.I. Joe classified uh, walk down memory lane. And these don't disappoint, man. And I highly recommend. Thanks again. He's going to get a huge Yo Joe. And looking very forward to that. I see that Snake Eyes trailer. Looking forward to that Origins movie. Until all are war. Thanks again for watching.